guys we're lucky enough to get our hands on the ai part from ubiquity so this is their new addition to unify protect honestly this device kind of a game changer if you were on the fence of changing to unify protect so the platform itself because you use third-party device that might just be the device that makes you cross that fence and if you're already using unify well honestly again you'll be able to upgrade your discontinued cameras and upgrade your current cameras with AI only using this. There is a lot of feature to uncover in this video. Some of these features are yet to be released. We'll discuss them in this video and we'll uncover what this device does. So how you can use it in your different projects, how can you set that up and how it works. All right, let's get to it. All right, so before we get started, how this solution actually works. So on our side, we have our console. So we're using a UDM Pro to power up the Unify Protect. And we also have a 24 port switch. These are connected to two regular cameras. So it's the G5 series. We have the G5 PTZ and the G5 Turret Ultra. So these by default don't have any AI in them. They have some AI detection, but not the whole package. And this is what it will bring to the table. So having this connected to this camera, you enhance their performance. So you're able to do face recognition, license face recognition, and much more. And this is what we will see. And honestly, it's really simple and we'll show you later. But having the switch, having your PoE cable, you connect it to the AI part and that's it. You just adopt it into your solution exactly like a camera and you get going. Now, let's see what this pack in the specs. All right, let's start with the definition of the AI part because AI part, giving AI to cameras, that's one thing, but what does it actually say on the website? So, Ubiquity mentioned that it's an AI appliance that enhances any Unify or third-party camera with AI detection, classification, and recognition capabilities. And I think one thing to note here is the third-party cameras. And that's what's really interesting with this solution is that now you can bring your camera to the Unify Protect and add AI to it without a problem. So we're talking about Unviv compatible cameras here, but again, Think about it. If you already have a bunch of cameras installed, you want to use this interface because you're using different Unify devices. Well, now the option is here. You can bring them to your interface and add AI to your cameras so you don't have any limitations anymore. And that's also true, like I mentioned, with your old Unify cameras. So all in all, great solution that we have here. When we're talking about what AI does it bring? Well is the whole package. So yes, here it says advanced AI. So that's just to mention. So face and license plate recognition, but it will also bring person, animal and vehicles if you don't have them. Also uh, you are on the UI itself. So on the interface, you will have the confidence level. So you will have square around a person or on their face with a percentage of how it's recognized. So if it's like they're 92% sure it's a face or something like that, it also brings that to you. But looking more in details about the technical specifications, nothing much to do, honestly. So this comes with a wall mount, so it's easy to set up. If you want it, rather to have it on your rack mount, you can set it up on the wall right there. And again, on their solution itself, they always show the daisy chain installation. So you will see right there on my screen. So having this connected to the switch and then connected to the camera, because yes, you have two RJ45 ports right here. So one is a PoE plus input. So it's an output of 12.95 uh, watts. And you also have a PoE plus plus input that requires for PoE plus output. So this is a 25.5 watt coverage. So again, it's easy to power up your cameras with this, but you can also use a PoE injector if you need more power to it. But I think the more practical way is not to actually daisy chain it, but you can actually connect it directly to your PoE switch. And if you're on the same network, well, you can just uh, put the AI on your cameras that way. Way easier in my own experience, honestly, it makes it easy for the setup. So if you have space on your switch, just connect it right away. And in your interface, you'll do the setup here. Now, another thing that I mentioned is all these features that 
are there but are not working. One of them is the SD card slot. So right here on the AI port, you have a SD card slot, but it's not working right now. So again, Ubiquiti mentioned that in a future update, you will be able to insert the SD card. And another thing that I want to discuss, and I think that's the most interesting one, is the cameras. So right now, this works with only one camera at the time. But in future updates, they said that it will work with five Uni5 Protect cameras. Can you imagine how, how that? It's pretty incredible because for the price tag, it comes to what? $40 for AI features per camera. I think that's pretty good, honestly. Because again, if you're using old uh, Uni5 cameras, so I think it's from G3, G4 and G5, well, you can give them AI right from the bat. So five cameras gets AI. And when we're talking about third party cameras, it's a bit different if I remember correctly. So if you're using 2K resolution, you can go up to two third party cameras. And if you go to HD, you can go up to three third party cameras. Still, I think it's a good bang for the buck if you get this. Um, but that's one of the thing, right? I, I, I always think don't buy something off of a promise. But when we're talking about Ubiquiti, I think they always delivered. So getting this right away and just waiting for the future update, eh, I, I think it's a good alternative. Now, this also support cameras up to 4K resolution and 30 FPS. So if your camera has a better resolution, you need to lower it down before connecting it to make sure there is no problem that arrived there. And another thing, it also goes with PTZ. So either it's a Unify like the G5 PTZ that we have here or a third party PTZ. And you always get the controls of them, even if it's a third party. So I, I think that's for me the, the best thing that we have because a PTZ camera, you want to be able to recognize what's happening in front. So using this, you enhance your camera and you make your detection level that much higher, which is great solution for security. And before you ask, uh, just so you know, this doesn't work with the current AI cameras. So for example, if you have an AI uh, turret camera from Unify, well, you, you don't get the value out of this. So if you're thinking, well, why should I get an AI camera rather than this? with any kind of model, uh, it's because of the hardware, honestly, because the AI camera actually have some improved on the microphone. You normally have a better res resolution as well. So if you look at the G5 turret that we will test, that's a 2K camera. Normally the AI cameras have 4K resolution, so it's always better. So it's a, a consideration to have if you'd rather have all the hardware specs better or keep what you have, or maybe get a, a more entry level camera and, and then sit with the AI part. All right, I babble a lot. There's a lot to discuss about the AI part, but let's see how it actually works. So we're gonna jump onto the screen and, and roll it. All right. All right, so we have our PoE cable connected to our switch. So I'm gonna connect it to our AI part right now and you will see a blinking light. So right here, it starts to blink, so it will jump onto my device, right? Okay, I'm gonna put this on the table. And as you can see in the interface right now, we have our G5 PTZ and our G5 Tourette Ultra. While this is getting enrolled, I just want to show you, for example, if we go inside the Ultra and you go in your recording settings to the right, you go down, make sure you toggle the create AI events right here. This way you'll be able to use the AI from the AI port. Now inside the edit video detections, you have different types. So as you can see, you have animal, person and vehicle. And with this one, you will have more that will jump on the camera itself. So now we see it, new device detected. We click on add. So this will add the AI part to our Unify Protect. Then we do this and now it shouldn't take long and it will be adopted to our network. Now, here we have it, so you click to adopt. So this will add the new device, it's adopting, and now click to pair. So as you can see, really easy to do. Again, you can daisy chain it, but this is connected directly to the PoE switch and this is how it would actually work. So click to pair and now you pair with a camera, so on the right, 
And now I have two cameras on my setup. I can choose with which camera it will give the AI. Right now, again, it's only to one camera. We will start with the Turret Ultra. As I showed you before, it had three detection types. Now it will have more. Uh, just before, just so you see it, uh, down below, so bottom left, you have advanced option. This would be if you have a third party camera. So you would click on there, enter the IP address, the username and password, and you would be able to enroll the third party camera with your AI port. Now, G5 Turret Ultra, I click on save, and see on the interface, you have an AI that appears next to your camera, so you know to which camera your AI port is set up with. Now, going inside the G5 Turret Ultra, you see that it's enhanced by the AI port. We go back to recording settings, and now in the video detection type, you now have license plate and phase detection as well. So they are already toggled, but the main difference for me is when you go in a live view. So if we click on the camera itself, you see me right here, a little bit of delay. But now you have this right here. You have all the features, so person detection and phase detection as well. And all of this is through actually an overlay. So I'm gonna... So the overlay that we have right here, sorry, I'm recording my screen, but it's a bit too small. So you are not seeing when I go full screen, but the overlay that you have here is actually even there on the full screen and you're able to choose the detection highlight directly. So now we have face in person and you have the confidence level. That's what I was talking about earlier. So you're able to actually see a percentage. So going back to full screen and you see me on the camera itself. So I will move up a little bit and you see all the detections on the screen. So all of this is happening because of the AI part, making it again a great tool because it works. Yes, that's the G5 series, but it would work also with your discontinued Unified product. And I, I think it's incredible to be able to push these updates even to products that are not available anymore. All right, and now how to change the AI from another camera. Uh, again, super easy. Click on the AI part, you go and manage, and you click on the other camera you want to give AI to. When you do this, keep in mind that it will restart the previous camera. In our case, it will be the G5 Turret Ultra that will be restarted. So and it gives the G5 PTZ AI. So you click on save and there you have it. So as you can see, the Turret Ultra is restarting and the AI notice moved on to the G5 PTZ. So going into the G5 PTZ recording settings, just making sure everything is correctly toggled. It is. So we will go in the live view. And as you can see here, similar things. So I have an overlay with different options for my PTZ cameras. As I mentioned before, you can control that not only with a unified product camera, but also with a third party. And you see the person and face detection right here. I'm gonna toggle on the person auto tracking right now and I'll put that in full screen so you see it better. And as I mentioned, again, this is true for every PTZ camera. So I think that's the best feature out there and sorry for the mess. That's not how we usually do a setup on our studio. It's just that, you know, a lot of space video going on and we want to make sure we do the best for you. Um, but it's a great feature to have on PTZ cameras because again, if your PTZ doesn't have any AI detection, well, this is a good way to do it so you can move around. It will auto track the person. Now maybe the studio is a little bit too small so it just sees me on the screen at all time, but you still see the detection follows me around. So that would be true even with cars because with the AI part, you get also license plate detection. So it means it will pick up the license plate and you will be able to save it in your file. So if you're monitoring a parking lot, also in the delivering service, so when you're receiving packages, you're able to really see what's going on there. So as you can see, really simple to do with the Unify Protect. But again, if you want to do third party cameras, there is a few extra steps you need to take. As we mentioned, going in the AI part, advanced option, then IP address, username, password. We decided to make another video on the third party cameras because these extra steps are not as easy as a Unify Protect. Meaning you need to toggle the Unviv on your camera, you need to access it to the web viewer. So we will use 
many of the most popular professional Sekitui cameras on the market to do another video and help you guys to set them up inside Unify Protect. If you're new to the channel, we're People System. We review professional security equipment and now we got our hands on all the solution from UBQD. So we want to review the Unify Protect, the Unify Network and so on. Even the Anthercom. So and th this one is going to be pretty nice, I believe. Just the unboxing has been awesome. So stay tuned. You should like and subscribe if you want to learn more about UBQD and their solution. And if you want to encourage us, there is also a link below so you can use this affiliate link to buy some of your equipment. Guys, thank you for watching and we'll see each other in the next one.